Hello Internet. I'm back with another build video. Uh, like I promised, uh, today we will be building a music creation center, Hackintosh. And these are the parts we will be using. A Corsair 200R. PC cooler, which is made by Silence. HD Caviar Green 2 terabyte hard drive. Intel Core i5 processor, which is the LGA 1150. A laptop power supply, 500 watts. Some Patriot 8 gig kit, two four sticks at 1600 megahertz. And a Zeus Z87K motherboard. Now let's get started. Only thing you would pretty much need to build a computer is a Phillips screwdriver. That's it. That's all you need. But the first thing I like to do when I um, build a computer is prepare the case. You can see I removed the rear exhaust fan and replaced it with two 140 Corsair AF fans in the top, exhausting. Remove both side panels and untied the wiring. The first thing you want to do is remove the motherboard from the box and prepare it for installation of the components. The first component I would like to install to the motherboard is the CPU. That is very easy to do. Step one, you want to press down on the arm, bring it outward, and push it all the way back, exposing a golden sea of pins. But don't touch them, they'll bite you. Okay, taking a look at the uh, CPU here. You see there's two notches at the top and a gold arrow at the bottom. If you look at your socket, you see two notches at the top and at the lower left side, you see a, an arrow. Now take your CPU, just drop it in. I like to give it a little wiggle, make sure it's correctly seated. Bring down the plate under the retention bolt. Take the arm, it will be some force pushing it down. Bring it all the way down out and under and the CPU installation is now complete you can remove the cover you see it popped free when we installed the CPU next we will install the CPU cooler we only installing this one now temporarily uh, until we install the motherboard into the case I do not want to install the oversized cooler that we bought due to clearance issues that we may have. And you see thermal paste is already applied. So only thing we need to do is orient the, C the CPU cooler in the correct orientation. Go, go, and you want to press down firmly. Do you hear a snap sound? And we could plug it into the CPU header. Next, we're going to install the memory. You may want to consult your manual which slots to place your memory in. Since uh, today we only using two sticks for a total of eight gigs. I already know that Zeus usually um, use the socket that's closest to the CPU first. Since it's dark brown, I will use this other dark brown one. First you wanna open the clips. Looking at the memory, you see there's a notch there and if you look into the socket 
you see a notch. You want to line them up. Press down to the clips close. And repeat. Next, we can install the motherboard into the chassis. One thing I forgot to mention, uh, you may have already noticed that I'm not wearing an anti-static wrist strap and I'm working on carpet, but it's okay. Long as once in a while, before you touch any of your components, you touch something metal. But now let's proceed. Next, you want to install your IO shield. You don't want to forget this. Down the line, you just about finish with your build, and you notice you forgot this. And you can't put it in once you got the motherboard in, so you got to take the motherboard all the way back out just to install this. One other thing I almost forgot. Usually, I would build the system completely outside of the case just to ensure that all the components are working correctly, but I did that off camera to save time. Correctly orient your, your uh, I.O. shield. Tip audio is always at the bottom. This is how they do it. It's always at the bottom. You want to line it up with the hole in the back of the chassis. Press firmly on all corners until the shield snaps into place. But be careful, it can cut you. Before installing the motherboard, you want to ensure that the standoffs is in the correct locations. I like to put it in at an angle. Be very careful. Line everything up. Let the board come down. Next, you want to install the, the screws. You can see this motherboard is a little bit thinner than a normal ATX board. So we will be only installing five screws. I like to do my wire management as I assemble the system. This is how I do it. It seems to be easier for me. Go ahead and plug in the audio, lining up the pins, Get the one at the end got one missing, make sure, there we go, and plugging up this, the front aisle, uh, it may differ, uh, so don't be scared to um, consult the manual, sometimes they have it in very small writing on the motherboard, which this one does. It says HDD LED, HDD LED goes here, and power switch, here's the power switch, plug it in here, reset switch, and power LED. Positive on the outside, negative on the inside. Next, I will install the power supply. This LIPA 500 watt. They got a 120 cooling fan. Hmm. I will be installing it with the fan down since the uh, case has a uh, filtered intake at the bottom. And just take the cabling and run it through this hole. You can see I made the power connections to the board and plugged up the fans. FYI, 
you can't uh, plug in the uh, eight pin with the fan here. You have to remove it to bring it around the board to plug it in. And one other thing I noticed was a good idea not to install this one until I got everything into the case first. Because if I had this, I wouldn't be able to um, plug in the uh, eight pin in the first place. But now I'll go ahead and um, install this. One other thing uh, I noticed earlier when I uh, tested the system outside the case, the original back plate that came with this um, cooler made contact with some um, solder points on the back of the board. The bottom of the plate is insulated, but the side was not, but the, uh, that wasn't making the contact. So I'm just gonna use this um, thermothake uh, back plate I got with some other um, cooling unit component. So that's gonna take it from there. It's pretty easy to install a back plate, so I'm not gonna show it. Okay, as you can see, we're just about finished. I have installed the CPU cooler and fan. Uh, next on the agenda, which is the hard drive, a Western Digital Caviar Green 2 terabyte drive. I'm just going to put it here. It's toolless. There we go. That's simple. It's installed. Next, we need to push out the top. Move one of these for the DVD drive. This tool is like everything else. Just slide that in and lock it in place. One thing I need to do now is run the SATA and power cable to to each drive. Then I'm ready to install Mountain Line OS onto the system. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. I have completed the system and installed line OS onto the system. I will um, put some other programs like Logic and Reason on there. Like I said, it's going to be a music creation system. Uh, so far, there's no problems. It's booting and shutting down correctly. Uh, it's not freezing. But I still got more tests to do before I can give it to the customer. Uh, like and subscribe.